good morning or good day, good evening, wherever you are, whatever time you're listening to this. Um, welcome to our mostly weekly We Awake meditations. And um, for you who are new, um, we do this uh, once a week because we thought it was a good idea. So uh, those of us from I Awake decided we should do We Awake. And there is a there is a feel that is created. There's a power you can feel when we meditate together, uh, either doing traditional meditation or using this technology. So, and this technology that we do at I Awake and trains your brain to specific brainwaves, desired brainwave states in order to uh, accomplish all kinds of things, in order to deepen your meditation practice, uh, deepen your spiritual practice, uh, work through trauma, work through depression, uh, help your brain function at a higher level, and more focus, and have all the snapses snapping in a little uh, in a way that's noticeably better. So today we're we're doing one called solar infusion and it is a 40 minute track. And this is a Schumann residence, what they say is the the residence of the earth. And what we have found over the years is this pack is really powerful for dealing with <clears throat> grief, darkness, depression, despair, all those kind of uh, painful things. And basically the practice is just to, as you begin to listen to it, to, to feel it where you feel the, the, the suffering in your body and just say oh hello and pay attention to it and just let the observer self pay attention to it and watch it as it shifts and transforms and um into into something else and uh, can be very liberating can be very healing that sounds pretty good doesn't it yeah. so without further ado shall we all right solar infusion
So that was, um, yeah, that was powerful. And uh, I think it just helps us to be present to what is, you know, what what is uh, consciousness itself and the contents of consciousness. basically the human soul and uh, and being is consciousness and consciousness is being and being is God and there's no thing including all the contents of our mind that is not that. You know how to realize that and be present with that and understand that we are not separate from that. Um, is the way that we wake up, the way that um, different words for it, uh, liberation, salvation, enlightenment but the only thing that can be aware of consciousness pure consciousness is consciousness itself and as one sage once said that which in that which is looking in you is that what you are looking for? The very thing that puts the hunger in ourselves, the desire to see beyond standard consciousness and iPhone consciousness and blah, blah, blah. The, the Buddhists call it the monkey mind consciousness. That's all. That's it, too. And when we recognize that, we taste that. We feel that presence. And it's like, oh, yeah. It's coming home, it's remembrance. What you are, what you always have been, and what you always will be. And the ego becomes the soul, and the soul becomes the self with the big S. And that connects us with everything. And it's not just being lost in a big, dark, cosmic mush. It's actually really good and full of light, peace, joy, realization, happiness. So, yeah. And we can't do it just through our efforts, you know, struggling to realize this stuff. That's good. I mean, that that's that at some stage in in, in your life and your existence, you start going, Oh, well, I've achieved this, you know, I've had a family, I've had some success, I've done all these things, I've had all these lovers, I've you know, seen all this interesting stuff in the world, this horrible stuff in the world and all of that. 
and all of that is just not sufficient. Kemas, as they say in Spanish, what more? And uh, and that's what each of us is. Our basic thing and is AJ Almas Hamid, whom uh, Roger Walsh and I have been having ongoing conversation with, called the Wisdom Series, has been a a tremendous guy and uh, man who's been there and back. You know, a man has gone to the top of the mountain and come back into the world. Or it's in the Zen, the Tin Zen Ox herding pictures, which I have up on the wall of my meditation room upstairs here. So, you know, the first guy doesn't even realize there's an ox and he finds the ox and uh, goes through all these journeys finding the ox. And finally, he, there's just a circle, there's a realization. And then he sees, sees it in everything. The emptiness and everything, the everything and emptiness, just the absolutely miraculous, astounding fact that we exist, that anything exists rather than nothing. I know. That's a big one. Why does something exist rather than nothing? Why is there just nothing? Why is there you? Uh, And science can't take us there. I'm really interested in science. I've been studying it for years, physics, uh, and cosmology, et cetera. Uh, but we are that. Thou art that. Oh, God, help us to wake up. And... Uh, see what we are and where we are and what it's about. And it's, it gets down, it's pretty simple stuff. It's, uh, it's caring and loving and being kind. And these are the fruits of the soul that has grown and developed and uh, been through the, uh, the process of being alive and being a human being. Pretty interesting thing. So I hope that um, a powerful experience for you and uh, the very, very powerful track, very powerful sounds and a very powerful inner experience that it opens us up to. So uh, go be at peace and uh, all shall be well. All shall be well and all shall be well. Um.